I would also like to mention Dr. Pierre Vesta is one of the co Keep visits. I've got one on the car. Yeah, I've, what I've done is I've just put in two tiny little radioactive chips into the horn. So the idea is to devalue the rhino horn in the eyes of the end user to make it, make it a lot easier to track um, going through borders, international crossings and things. Thank you. We tried to poison the horns. That didn't work. Uh, deer horning doesn't work. Um, nothing works. But this is something you can't destroy, you can't throw it away, and it petrifies people, you know. Oh, it's radioactive, so we got to run. That's what we want. <laughs> the um, the dosage is at a fairly low level, low enough that it will, will not uh, impact on the animal itself in any negative way, but yet it is strong enough that it can be can do two things. One is to render the horn uh, totally useless, it's, it's essentially uh, poisonous for human consumption, but but also importantly. Uh, through the detection systems that we have at airports, uh, any rhino that is being uh, transported through our through our airports will be detected because of the radioactivity. <laughs> Hello.